वेलकम टू वी लर्न दिस इज सेशन नाइन ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल डायनामिक्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक सेल्फ मैनेज वर्क टीम्स वर्चुअल टीम फ्रेंडशिप ग्रुप इंटरेस्ट ग्रुप फंक्शन ऑफ मैनेजमेंट हरारिकल स्ट्रक्चर मैक्स वेबर एंड ब्यूरोक्रेसीज पोस्ट वेबर मैनेजमेंट थाट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एज एन ओपन सिस्टम In the later part of the session, we are going to cover the organization culture, organization development, management ingredient, contribution to organization, group dynamics, and independence. So, the first topic of today's session is self-managed work team. When we talk about the self-managed work team, this self-managed team is basically the keys to effective. working of the organization self managed work team give the team enough responsibility when we talk about the self managed work team it includes the full action steps which needs to be followed so that this self managed team can provide their 100% the first thing that you need to do is give the team enough responsibilities and autonomy to be self managing the team's tasks should be complex enough to include many different steps select members carefully for their diversity skills and enthusiasm managers should guide and coach not supervise most it is supposed that managers are here or they are being appointed in the organization just to supervise the things that how the things are going on but not it is management skills requires to provide proper guidance and coaching at the required point of time apart from this self managed team should be provided with the sufficient training so that organization needs can be fulfilled now what is virtual team a team whose members are rarely meet face to face they interact by using various forms of information technologies जोग्राफिकली कई बार क्या होता है कुछ टीम के मेंबर्स डिफरेंट डिफरेंट लोकेशंस पे डिफरेंट जोग्राफिकल लोकेशंस पे अवेलेबल होते हैं सो दे कम्युनिकेट विद देयर टीम मेंबर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ सम आईटी टूल्स लाइक ईमेल कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क टेलीफोन फैक्स एंड वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग ऑल दिस कलेक्टिवली गिव रेस्ट टू द वर्चुअल टीम फ्रेंडशिप ग्रुप एन इनफॉर्मल ग्रुप दैट इज कम्पोज ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयज who enjoy one another's companies and socialize with one another they comes under the friendship group interest group an informal group of employees seeking to achieve a common goal related to their members in an organization they comes under the category of interest group functions of management there are different functions of the management And out of many functions the first one is to emphasize on the structure the basic thing is structuring the things structuring the people structuring the resources which require which is an efficient criteria to structure the resources another functions of management includes planning organizing staffing directing coordinating and of course budgeting scientific management that was given by the taylor that concentration on the work process in terms of time and motion studies to make the work process more efficient so this is basically called as a science of shovlin single center of power that is the top down hierarchical control when the organization is organized in such a way so that there is a single power of authority that sort of control is called as a top down hierarchical control it requires the agency of the head and a head is basically accountable to all the official issues similarly to how a ceo is responsible to a board of directors hierarchical structure is for further of it is based on the concept of division of labor and division of labor is basically done on the basis of the specialization of the task so hierarchical structure is of two types vertical and horizontal 
horizontal way the dealings among the people are just as a peer kind of friendship or friendship kind of thing while in vertical structure the relationship is of boss and subordinate type hierarchical structure also specifies the unity of command is that everyone has a single superior hierarchical structure is applicable to a limited span of control team in which the number of person are reporting to a single individual and this is possible only when the size of the team is small so vertical and horizontal both kind of team organizations are based on to the concept of division of labor max weber and bureaucracy this concept is applies to large organization whether it's a public or private kind of organization there is a proper hierarchy of offices and selection of the people in these or kind of organization is carried out on the basis of their technical qualification while building such kind of organization strict discipline and control is followed and there is a proper distinction between the line and the staff members and the classification of manager is done in such a way is that supervisor first line managers middle line managers top managers and executives post weber management thought in the emerging it this concept this post weber management thought it emphasizes on the democratic values and human behavior in this it is being evaluated that is efficiency the most important value for the public agency means under the web post weber management thought it is being evaluated that efficiency is the most important value for the public agency is the authoritarian or top down model compatible with the democratic principles because these two parameters should be compatible with each other can rigid bureaucratic structure even be effective can be adapt to change the scientific management can reduce the people to the machine means हम नंबर ऑफ मैन पावर को रिड्यूस कर सकते हैं इससे पहले बजाय इसके कि मशीन रखी जाए सो डो दिस ब्यूरोक्रेटिक प्रैक्टिस कैन बी इवेल्युएटेड बिफोर एक्चुअली द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ एनी वेब एनी मैनेजमेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन साइड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डायनेमिक इन मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फोकस ऑन दिस पार्ट दैट फोकस ऑन टू द साइंटिफिक मैनेजमेंट so that number of manpower can be reduced to the machines simon has given a concept of bounded rationality according to that human being seeks human beings seek the best possible solution not necessarily the most economical sound solution and garris has given another concept in which the individual development and growth can be stifled by bureaucratic imperatives and people are expected to react positively to the strict control to be passive and submissive human striving for self actualization can be interpreted as threatening and dysfunctional now let us discuss that how an organization can be an open system or how an organization can act as an open system any open system has its own systems theory in which there is a input there is a processing of the input data and then the output comes out and organizations are shaped as per their outside world and the best way to understand that how the organization work is to analyze their external influences their environment and environment includes public interest groups politics economics that focus on the programs rather than the agencies organization culture the culture of an organization basically derives from the attitude beliefs and values that actually shape up the organization kisi bhi organization mein kaam karne wale logo ka kya attitude hai kya mindset hai kya unka belief hai towards the organization as well as towards the life and the values that the people are having all these collectively give us to the culture of that organization so organization culture 
is a kind of preoccupation with efficiency and control it emphasizes service and quality it fosters autonomy and entrepreneurship organization culture can achieve productivity through motivated employees who agree on an organization's core value right so organizational development is a kind of process for planning and implementing the change they bring about a sort of transformation inside the organization so transformation before implementing any sort of transformation a process for planning and implementing changes imposed which includes management accessibility open communication willingness to experiment emphasize collaboration sense of community and shared responsibility authenticate personal relationship and interdependence now there is some management and gradient if you want to get an idea of the management skills then there are certain ingredients which will help you to understand that what kind of management is basically driving that particular organization which ultimately give rise to the organizational dynamics that we are going to discuss so organization dynamics include different ingredients of management and the first one is it is the responsibility of the management management has power to implement any sort of criteria inside the organization they have a proper hierarchy of authority and management style is differentiated can be differentiated by the way of their influence so these four ingredients actually give rise to the management scenario contribution to the organization groups and team contribution to organization's effectiveness lots of people when they work together as a team then they ultimately contribute to bring about the effectiveness of the organization's work because the work the groups and teams can enhance performance they can increase responsiveness to customers they can increase innovation and increase in motivation and satisfaction can also be generated or it can be derived from the groups and team and these four parameter that is the enhanced performance increase responsiveness towards the customer innovation motivation satisfaction they collectively gain a competitive advantage if any organization is having four these parameters then a competitive advantage can be achieved so organization dynamics teaches to introduce these four parameter into the organization so that we can survive in this cutthroat competition we can get an full advantage of the competitive competitive advantage we can achieve organization dynamics when we think about the organization dynamics when we basically define the parameters to implement the organization dynamics then organization dynamics basically brings about the growth inside the organization and organization says that i need to grow the company right and for that purpose there should be a proper empowerment of the organization and organization can improve it can enhance their profitability their their uh, strengths across the world by choosing some parameters like an organization can can grow only if that organization choose technologies with a future in mind is the cio a technologist who understand the business or a business person who understand the technology there is a big difference between these two statements so organization dynamics focus on every parameter which can drives or which can uplift the level of organization organization dynamics also focus on to the economics in one side which involves the calculations of profit and that profit can be calculated by by getting the difference 
between the revenue and the cost in a curd so because we any any organization basically lives in a growth economy so profitability must be evaluated time to time in a quarter to quarter basis apart from this organization dynamics focus or also focus on that an organization can grow it can improve only by adding some value to the business agar aap kuch business mein kuch kharch karenge kuch extra dalenge then only that thing will add a value to the business and that value can be added in terms of infrastructure in terms of machinery in terms of empowering the manpower in terms of getting uh, like uh, like uh, by expanding the horizon of the company right according to the organization concept that was discussed in the organization dynamics it was said by the different people of the organization which actually act, act as a leader of the company that organization can drive their work only when they need right people to work in the right projects agar sahi kaam ke liye sahi person ko choose kiya jayega to एफिशिएंसी बढ़ेगी काम की प्रोडक्टिविटी निकल के आएगी प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी जनरेट होगी सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर बट इज बेसिकली इंटर रिलेटेड विद ईच अदर मैनेजर्स परस्पेक्टिव टू ड्राइव द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यस द की रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ मैनेजर वेदर इट्स अ डिप्टी मैनेजर रीजनल मैनेजर यूनिट मैनेजर असिस्टेंट मैनेजर एरिया मैनेजर वॉट एवर टैग इज देयर द बेसिक परस्पेक्टिव of the organization to appoint any sort of manager is to have such a person who can take care of everyone's need so that everybody should feel happy in the organization so it is it should be the perspective of that manager so that to make everyone happy in the organization because if everyone is happy then he or she will be able to add 100% in their work and ultimately it will affect the organization's productivity so before we end there is a do it yourself exercise and the do it yourself exercise basically includes the first question is explain different ingredients of the management which affects the functionality of an organization and the second question focus on that what is an virtual team and work team you have to define these two parameters in the same question you you can write 10 points for the same so with this we are going to finish this session thank you